2018 Chevrolet Camaro ZL11 Leader E. Chevrolet must have one hell of an overtime budget for its performance vehicles department. In just the past few years, there have been SS's, Stingrays, 1LA, Z51S, Z06S, ZR1s, ZL1s, and even V6. Models that have consistently rewritten the bang for buck equation to say nothing of fellow General Motors brand Cadillac and its immensely talented V-models, now comes this particular Camaro, 1. That combines two of those acronyms but wears an invoice price that doesn't seem adequate to cover the sum of its parts. The 2018 Camaro ZL-11 Literary stretches the performance envelope like a cruise missile wearing the 49-cent stamp. There's the Corvette. Z06 derived Del T4 supercharged 6.2 liter VA good for 650 horsepower and 650 pounds to foot of torque, the genuine carbon fiber link, a first for GM. Designed in a Formula One wind tunnel that turns into the equivalent of 300 pounds of lead at 150 miles per hour, the gaping front end that swallows 106 cubic feet of air per minute more than a regular ZL1, and the splitter, and dive planes. Also, check out the rubber. GM tapped Goodyear and the tire maker brought its Eagle F1 Supercar 3R to the table. 305-30ZR19 S in the front and 325-30ZR19 steamrollers at the rear. Which is the widest tire ever fitted to a Camaro. Goodyear says they are good for 1.10 grams of lateral acceleration, but if our well-attuned nets are any gauge, we're thinking it's even higher than that. The rubber is wrapped around forged aluminum wheels one inch smaller in diameter than the regular ZL ones, along with the tires and compared with the non one the car, those rollers say 13 pounds in precious rotating inertia and unsprung mass. The four dampers together are about 23 pounds lighter than the 2014 2015 Z-28S steel body dampers. The rear subframe and its multi-link suspension are insulated, if you want to call it that, by aluminum bucks, and the rear anti-roll bar is adjustable to three positions. Locking down the rear end and firming up the front communicates every crack in the road and even the slightest variation in lateral thrust with a sniper's precision all of this variability was engineered into the car to allow owners to fine-tune their camaros to their home tracks at the jacques villeneuve designed area 27 in british columbia we ran 40 plus laps of the 3.0 mile circuit it was the brakes the iron rotor units carry over from the regular ZL1 except for the ABS calibration, rather than spent tires that prevented us from turning more than 5 hot laps at a time, the pedal gets a little long on the 5th lap. While we'd like to have seen the one that adopt the carbon ceramic brakes of the Z-28, they'd be costly, and few cars feel as stable while braking in corners as the one that, even when you throw in a downshift. The car never unsettles. The tires claw for grip in corners like a cat scurrying up a tree. Where you expect understeer, you get a neutral balance, and squeezing extra throttle on exit causes the rear end to step out gently or aggressively if you simply put the hammer down too quickly. We're quite sure there isn't a tire made that could contain the LT4's 650 pounds to foot of torque. The 2018 Camaro ZL11 Liter E stretches the performance envelope like a cruise missile wearing a 49 cent stamp. There's the Corvette Z06 derived Del T4 supercharged 6.2 liter V8 good for 650 horsepower and 650 pounds to foot of torque. The genuine carbon fiber wing, a first for GM. 
designed in a Formula One wind tunnel that turns into the equivalent of 300 pounds of lead at 150 miles per hour, the gaping front end that swallows 106 cubic feet of air per minute more than a regular ZL1, and the splitter. And dive planes. Also, check out the rubber. GM tapped Goodyear and the tire maker brought its Eagle F1 Supercar 3R to the table. 305-30ZR19S in the front and 325-30ZR19 steamrollers at the rear. Which is the widest tire ever fitted to a Camaro? Goodyear says they are good for 1.10 grams of lateral acceleration, but if our well-attuned nets are any gauge, we're thinking it's even higher than that. The rubber is wrapped around forged aluminum wheels one inch smaller in diameter than the regular ZL ones, along with the tires and compared with the non one the car, those rollers save 13 pounds in precious rotating inertia and unsprung mass. When one feels the desire, the car will accelerate in a straight line. 2. GM claims the one lit transformation saves 60 pounds, so we don't expect the manual only one lit to be all that much quicker than the manual transmission ZL1 coupe we tested. Call it 3.7 seconds to 60 miles per hour. And 11.9 in the quarter mile. The ZL1 automatic will remain the quickest Camaro, despite being roughly 100 pounds heavier than this car. While the chassis mods make it a fantastic track weapon, this car is somewhat compromised on the street. Not overly so, but you'll want to avoid every pothole due to springs that are three times stiffer than those of the regular ZL1. Matt's Grace, the engineering manager for the Camaro 1 Land ZL1s, admits that he wanted to make the car a bit more extreme by ditching some creature comforts, the trunk lining, for example. He was thwarted by GM historians who wanted to keep the one true to its roots as an additive option, not a give and then take one. A philosophy that dates to the third generation Camaro. Unlike the last generation Z-28, this one that has all the features of the ZL1. Including heated and cooled seats, a heated steering wheel, a head-up display, and an 8.0-inch infotainment system. Options are limited. With Chevy's performance data at quarter, $1,300. It's a forward-looking camera and data logger, a navigation system, $495, and carbon fiber. Interior trim, $500, being the only factory extras besides a few $395. Premium paint colors. The shorter ratio in top gear equates to an engine turning 1,000 revolutions per minute. Faster at racing pace. There are only a few tracks this side of Bonneville that need sixth, and one of those is the Nürburgring. Nordschleife. At that hallowed German track, a ZL11 liter E turned a lap in 7 minutes and 16 seconds, which is more than 21 seconds quicker than the last Z-28 and 13 quicker than the current ZL1. That ring time puts the ZL11 liter E in the company of near vaporware from car makers such as Gumpert, Radical, and Donkerwort. The best part of this package is its asking price, $71,295. Very nearly anything else. Operating in this performance stratum is easily two or three times costlier. The next closest performer is a Corvette Z06 with the Z07 package, and even that performance value costs about $20,000 more. Just don't tell Chevy's accounting department it could charge a lot. More for this track animal, okay?